people. <laughs> we are back. Daniel's here. Hello. Glad tidings. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> what a start. <laughs> uh, we're here for Elimination Chamber predictions. Uh, we're doing this a bit earlier than normal, only because both of us are off today and we couldn't think of anything else to do at this time of the morning. Well, it's midday. No. It's midday now, so uh, it's midday. Uh, we say morning, and um, we're lazy, so we only just really got started. James yeah. has coffee. I, I, literally, I literally got up about half an hour ago. <clears throat> yeah, <and laughs> I, I just got dressed for this shit. So you know, I literally, I literally got up, recorded a video, and Dan said, uh, "When do you want to do the predictions?" I said, "Well, when, whenever you're ready." And he goes, "I'll get some clothes on." <laughs> <laughs> So um, yeah. So how are you anyway? I'm I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm in I'm in good moods today. That makes just change. still the weekend. Mm-hmm. We're not filming this on a weekday. No. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. Uh... Um, this is literally. I mean, elimination chamber is tonight. Um, this is literally the only day we've been able to do this because we've both been working. Um, so hard. Working so, so hard. hard. Um, I didn't tell you actually. I got my rotor for next week. And? Um, well, I'm in tomorrow, and then I'm off for three days. <laughs> <laughs> On, honestly. Yes, honestly. <laughs> oh, one day you'll do a nine till five job. Anyway, go on. Yes, uh, I don't know when, but yeah. Um, right, I'm actually prepared today. I've got my list. Not like last Good. time. <laughs> we watched last one, it was an absolute rabble. Yeah, Dan, uh, Dan took charge of the last stream because I was I, I just literally had nothing in my head. <laughs> um, Dan's got his uh, Randy Orton t-shirt on this time. I haven't yes. bothered. <laughs> I thought I'd respect the Avenged. <laughs> That's fair enough. Talking about that, did you see on Facebook that they've put a date on for the 13th of... February. I don't know what that's about. Not a clue, but that is tomorrow. Hmm. So, um, um, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, they literally put on their Facebook page, put a picture of the death bat with, obviously, it's Americans, so it's back to the front. So it's got the 2nd, 13, 2017. I did see that. So, I, hmm. unless it's a, a new, they're announcing a new tour or something like that, because obviously with the new album. Um, obviously, if some, some of you don't know, we, we quite it hardcore into our we like that stuff we like that stuff um, I don't know if anyone's noticed but <laughs> <laughs> oh Dan you went pixelated um, right this is all from Wikipedia so it's not in order <laughs> apart from the first one which is obviously the pre-show we don't really do a lot yep. of the pre-show ones but we'll, we'll do this one because I've written it down um so the pre-show match is Mojo Rawley versus Kurt Hawkins. Not the greatest starts, I suppose. No, but I say Mojo. You say Mojo? Yes. I don't think Hawkins has actually proved himself yet. He hasn't really kicked off yet, really, has he? No. Uh, Mojo. Mo- Mojo all the way. That's the pre-show done. Yeah, um, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Elimination Chamber itself. Um... In before we get onto the matches, in respect, do you think it's going to be a good show? From the card, yeah. Yeah, but it, that always happens, though. From but, the card, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, of of late, um, I always worry because they've done a lot of shit, mm-hmm. and we can't forget Royal Rumble yet. No, that that's. No and one's we'll going to affect Royal Rumble. So, um, I, I'm a little bit apprehensive. Yeah. But, as I say, the the matches, regardless of what happens in the Elimination Chamber match, I'm quite looking forward to the matches. Because yeah. the card I mean, is I quite mean, good. I mean, looking at the card itself, we've got a lot of women's matches. Yes. We've got three women's matches in this, uh, mm. in this event, which is um, a first, I think, for that many... It's either a first or we haven't seen it in a very long yeah, time. Yeah, um, I mean, it's got one, two, three women's matches and one, two, three, four men's matches. So, 
pretty much 50-50 cut now then. It is. Um, so the first one I've got on there is, uh, I'll, I'll say this right, I'm not going to say it like I did last time. Nikki, Nikki versus Nata. Na, na, I nearly did it! <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, <laughs> Nikki Bella versus Natalia. Yep. Uh, obviously, this is like a like a feud match, really, isn't it? Um, sorry, I just I just looked down at my screen where I've got this playing back, and I just saw your head go. Um, <laughs> um, who do you reckon then? Uh, Natalia. Natalia, really? Oh wait, no, hang on. Okay. <laughs> You go first. <laughs> well, I, well, I, well I, I think Nikki, really. I reckon she's going to come out all guns blazing. Okay, I'll still pick Natalia. So, yeah. Your argument was invalid to me. <laughs> so, Natalia. Right, so... Uh, I, I, hang on, I've got to write this down now. So Which I pick, means we've already gone splits. Yes. Um... Why do you think Natalia? Because I'm now calling her hot chocolate after your nickname. After my nickname? After your nickname for her. Oh, okay. <laughs> As I say, I don't have a nickname called hot chocolate. <laughs> she has some hot slivery of chocolate on a nice bit of toast. I oh, know, I think Natalia's. She's been pushed back up, so. Mm. It's, it's pretty much it. I haven't got a lot to say on that one, but right. Um, do you reckon it'll be a good match? Yeah, I, re I reckon. It, I reckon it'll yeah, be. Not... Go on. I reckon it uh. won't be a full-on brawl. I reckon it'll be quite technical. Yeah, it'll definitely be a technical one. Mm. And Natalia will make it more of a map game, I would say. Um, but Nikki's been since Nikki came back. Um, I haven't really known what to think of her, really. Yeah, I say she and hasn't. It, she hasn't really changed her sort of style, her, no. her character, and things like that. So and it, it's um, it's like she doesn't have a storyline. Yeah, she's just there. She's just there every she's, now because she's Nikki. Yeah, yeah. I see what you mean by that, but I still pick Nikki. <laughs> um, <laughs> if we're going on looks alone, yes, Nikki will win. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a deep breath for this one. <laughs> okay, we've got American Alpha versus Heath Slater and Rhino versus Breezango versus the Usos versus the Ascension versus the Vaud Villains in a tag team tourmile match for the tag team titles. <laughs> yes. Obviously, American Alpha are champions. Yeah, tag Team Turmoil. Um, does that mean everyone's in the ring at once? It's not. Yeah, it does, anyone it? can pin anyone. Yeah, so it's basically like a it's like a tornado tag match, really, isn't it? Yeah. So um, so anything can happen. It's anything can happen. Um, American Alpha have got the biggest disadvantage in that because obviously you don't have to be, pin the champions to win. Mm. Um, as long as Breezango don't win, I'm happy with whoever wins. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, who do you think's going to win? I mean, I know it's a hard question. It, yeah. Um, is. I'd like to see the Usos get it. Since, yeah, uh, since, since their change of character, they haven't really been pushed. No. Um, but I do like new Usos. Yeah, I like the new Usos. Uh, it's like that sort of grungy sort of vibe to him now isn't it yes um, I think I've had enough of Heath and Rhino yeah yeah um, I like the, the way they got together and things like that and obviously it was to do with Heath's contract and things but um, I think I, I'd like to see the Usos win on okay. that one yourself okay. um, I want to see American Alphas win you want to see him retain? I want to see him retain. Mm. I'm starting to grow quite a fondness to them too. Huh. I must admit. In fact, know... so much so that I've started playing them in the uh, game. 
Oh, right, okay. I never touched them before. Do you know who they remind me of? Who? Team Angle. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Is, is it, it the outfits? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's they're kind of a mixture of Team Alpha and a very early Steiner Brothers. Yes. <laughs> it's the outfits, isn't it? Yeah. The, the proper never, the I, proper eighties nineties multicolored things. Don't get me wrong, I've never liked those sorts of outfits, but hey, if you can make it. Say, so it kind of reminds me of the um, I say like the nineties ski jackets. Yeah. <laughs> With the very flamboyant pink. Yes. Um. So you you say American Alpha. I do. Uh, I do say American Alpha. Yep, yeah, and I say Usos. Yes. Um. It will definitely definitely be. Um, chaos. Oh yeah, it's apart from the Elimination Chamber match. Obviously, it's the only one that's got the potential to go a bit out there. Out there, yeah. yeah. That was the word. Blimey, it is Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Shit, I've just dropped my pen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good grief. Um, yeah, no, it's. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I hope that it does have usually these sorts of matches have some very nice little segments in them like little switcheroos and yeah I say every, every so, now and then you'll, you'll, you'll probably see so like the ascent, one half of the ascension and one half of the forward villains helping yeah. each other do like yeah. a double team or like the Usos and say like Jey Uso and Rhino team up against Breezango yeah I, I quite like that that'd be quite good um, but yeah, so I reckon that'll be a, definitely a good match. Um, the women's title match. Yep. Alexa Bliss, uh, the champion, going up against Naomi. Yep. Um. I don't, I don't think Naomi's going to win. You don't think she's going to win? Um, I'd like to see her win because it's the first time she's actually been pushed for the title. Yeah, um, that's why she's not going to win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, see that you go with that. Um, um, yeah. Alexa Bliss for me, she's one of them. She's a bit short, isn't she? Yeah, she kind of reminds me of. Um... She could like for a pint. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could. Just... Hey, I love. You. Thank you very much. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I say she kind of reminds me of like a uh, bit like an AJ, AJ Lee. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, God, I, I can't stand her promos because she does all this hand 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 movement, face movement shit, and you can't. It, yeah, it, it makes me it makes me quite um, seasick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I I just oh, no, I'm not into all that. I mean, but, it's a bit it's a bit yeah. like she's a bit like with Carmella. Yeah, although I like Carmella. Oh, yeah, I like the fact now. Oh, okay. I like the fact now that she's uh, she's teamed up with James Ellsworth. I think that's quite funny. Yeah, <laughs> we've had it before. We've had it. Yeah, it is quite funny. Yeah, I like her outfit that goes with his as well. Yeah, uh, like how she keeps on get, giving him like big medallions to wear and things like that. <laughs> um, so you think we think Alexa's gonna somehow win? Retain. I, I think she's gonna cheat her way to win. Personally, I think Naomi's oh, yeah, going to. I think the, those, anyway. Yeah, I think Naomi's going to uh, going to dominate the match, and uh, it's going to be like either pull on the tights or things like that, and or hold on to the rope and things like that to win. Yeah. Um, Plus, we get to have a little bit of a rave when Naomi comes in. So oh yeah, as well. you got you got to respect the glow. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other women's match is Becky Lynch versus Mickey James. Yeah. It's nice to see Mickey James back. Hello, Mickey. Hello, Mickey. It's a fan. <laughs> and you blow my mind, hey, Mickey. Um, <clears throat> did you expect Mickey James to be that lucha person? I nope. no, I personally didn't. Um, no, I that thought was nice. Yeah, that was a surprise. I That's thought what we call not by doing it. Well, exactly. Because the way, like the outfit was, it looked too small to be anyone yeah. like Mickey James or someone like that. Um, I I did think it was like AJ Lee because of the size of her. I used to love AJ Lee as a wrestler as well. You didn't know she's married to CM Punk. Yeah, I know. Lucky. To fuck her. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. I I thought it would be someone of that 
size anyway. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. No, it, it was nice. I like to see Mickey back because. Yeah. Um, I mean, I I know she she didn't do well in TNA. Um, they didn't really push her forward in in TNA, but I think no. obviously WWE is where she belongs. Um, it is because I mean, especially when she first came in with that sort of the lesbian angle they did with Trish Stratus. There, there were some weird angles. Yeah. Um. There. She. She was obsessive and stalkerish, mm-hmm. and she. She was a little bit weird. They pushed her weird. Yeah. Um. But they don't do that no more. So. No. Especially as well on that match at WrestleMania that her and Trish had. Um. Obviously, there was the bit where she went like that. Yes. Um. We can't is... have no more of that. It's no. PG thirteen now. Yes. Um. I think, told I, her that. I think that bit has actually been edited Take out, uh, edited out on the network. If I'm yeah. right, um, like, no Mickey, no, yeah, can't yeah. can't do that no more. Mickey. You can't stick your fingers between her legs and then lick it. No. <laughs> I hate Mickey. I hope they do like an angle, like I went to counselling and now I feel better. <laughs> oh well, like the counselling things they did with uh, Daniel Bryan and Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. um, hang on, I haven't been writing any of these down. Uh, so, we, uh, Mickey J, uh, sorry. Uh, we both think Alexa Bliss, yeah. Uh, so, who do you think between Mickey and Becky? It's a tough uh, one, this one, isn't it? It's a very tough one, this one. On the one hand, Mickey's only come back, Becky should win. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, if he's just come back, they should let her win. It'll be a good, um, like, return story, really. Because this is exactly is this. This will be Mickey's first match back. I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Which, which is why I think, I, th- <laughs> I think, Mickey. You think Mickey? I, I'm going to agree. I'm going to agree with you on that one. Mickey, because it might make the crowd go, yay! Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I know everyone loves Becky. Um, Me personally as well. Yeah, um, but I think for, for what's best for business. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my god, that was bad, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, best for business. Um, I think Mickey should win because that is best for business. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Uh, we've got a two-on-one handicap match. We do. I have no idea why. I don't Dolph. know what I don't know what Dolph Ziggler's done to deserve this, but <laughs> he's know. but he's got Kalisto and Apollo Cruz. The bloke gets pummeled most weeks, and uh, then they just fucking do this to him. The poor fucker. Is is this is this payback for Spirit Squad? No idea. <laughs> no idea. Uh, Apollo Cruz and Kalisto against Dolph Ziggler. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go with the obvious. You're going to go with Apollo Crews and Kalisto. Yeah. I'm going to go for Dolph. I'm sorry, but I am. Well, I've won that one then. I reckon... This is just a... I'm just throwing it out there. I reckon uh, Dolph's going to basically kick fuck out of Apollo. Because obviously mm. they're going to have to tag tag in and out. It's not going to be an open one. Yeah. Um Apollo's going to be out in the back, and somehow I think Dolph's going to—he's going to win, but he's going to have to pin Kalisto because there's no way he's going to win against Apollo. There is a small chance that Dolph will win this, and that small chance is like that much, and then that much is how much. Like, <laughs> so that's why I'm saying it's yeah. Apollo. So, uh, so you say you say Apollo, Cruz, and Kalisto, and I'm going to say Dolph. Um. Right, yeah. Luke Harper versus Orton. Orton. Oh, I knew that was coming. Orton! Orton! Um, yeah. This is going to be a very good match, I reckon. Oh, God, yeah. I that's, out of all the matches, even the Elimination Chamber, that's the one obviously, that I will obviously, tune in. Obviously, Bray isn't going to be out at ringside because obviously he's competing in the Chamber, so he won't be out. Um, we might make an appearance. It might make an appearance, yeah. I see where you're going with that, but 
I don't. He won't be involved. I don't think. It depends on whereabouts in the card this match is actually going to be. I think if it's earlier on, but I reckon it will be before the chamber. I think. Don't get me. You don't quote me on this. It's going to be the second to last before. So I think it's Luke Harper Orton. Then it's the. Uh, women's championship match and then it's elimination yeah. chamber. So I think. If, if if that happens then Bray may make an appearance in that. Yeah. Um if it's the one before the chamber, then I doubt he will. Yeah, I, I also doubt that. Um That's definitely definitely gonna be a good match. Mm-hmm. Um I think obviously Harper's got a lot of built up rage he needs to uh needs to get out. Yeah, it's a decent feud that's been building. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So definitely. that's why it's a match you look forward to. Yeah. Obviously, you know. um, it's not for it's not for anything. I mean, Randy's not putting up his Royal Rumble win. No, it's for um, pride. It's for, yeah, it's for pride. It's for the Wyatt family. It's for the Wyatt family. Yeah. It's um, what we all do things for. Yeah. I mean, um, I think a lot of people would like Luke to win. Because the way mm. how he's turned on Bray as well, um, but I reckon there will be an RKO out of nowhere. Yeah, possibly on the announce table. Mm. Um, so we both think Orton for that one. Yes. Um, right then, the chamber match itself. We've already gone through them all. <laughs> Predictions videos usually aren't that long anyway because you have to talk about it afterwards. Yeah, exactly. Um, so the Elimination Chamber match for the WWE title, you've got Cena as the champion versus AJ Styles versus Dean Ambrose versus The Miz versus Baron Corbin versus Bray Wyatt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. right. It's really hard to predict this one because well, I'm they've gonna, got so many different angles. I'm going to cross off Baron Corbin. Yes. And The Miz. Definitely. Really? Okay. I th- I'm going to cross off The Miz because I don't. F- I think he's there just for a filler. Really. The- well, let's hope that Maurice doesn't come out this time, or if she does, that she has a slightly looser outfit. Camel Toe Part exactly. 2. <laughs> Camel Toe Part Two, Two Point <laughs> on the Camel um, Toe. I mean, there's not, there's only, um, I think between Cena, AJ, and Bray, personally. Um, obviously, you've got the rivalry between Cena and AJ. Uh, Ambrose, Ambrose will just cause fucking mayhem. He's got to put someone for us for a chamber. That's obvious. Mm. Um, personally, myself. I reckon Bray's gonna win, and then we're gonna have Bray and Orton at Mania. That is one of my potentials in my head. Mm-hmm. Another one's AJ. AJ Orton at Mania, yep. Um, <sighs> Do you reckon Cena will retain? He's done it before, but then obviously, um, then Edge came out with his money in the bank. He could. <laughs> Because to be fair, he's only held the title for less than a month. Yeah, but I, I think I think with them is uh, he's got his sixteen now. It doesn't matter but how long he keeps it for. They could. They've done it before. Orton might not still have his title shot at WrestleMania by the time WrestleMania comes around. So it could be that Cena loses it. And another option is that Cena loses it now. Mm-hmm. Then there's some sort of storyline where Orton loses his opportunity. Cena gets that opportunity and he goes for the beat in the record. That's another option. Yep, yep. Um, Dean, I don't think Dean because he is uh, universal. Uh, not universal. <laughs> Intercontinental. <laughs> champion. Yep. So I'm going to rule him out as well. I'll cross him off. Mm-hmm. Um. For Bray. You're going for Bray as well? Bray. Yep. Um, yeah, I... I, <clears throat> I mean, do you think Orton's doing all of this for a screw job? 
Apex yeah. Predator and all of that. Yeah. Do you think all of this has all been planned? So will he help Bray in this elimination chamber somehow? Um, it's in preparation for WrestleMania where he can get his title. Is it all a big scheme? Either that, or I say he could. Um, he could help Bray in the elimination chamber, um, and then possibly when it obviously because they got to make a storyline of the fact that it's going to be Bray and Orton at Mania um, he could stick together until like a week before Mania or two weeks before Mania and then you'll just click yeah okay I, I know where I mean that that whole thing Wyatt Family Luke Harper Orton that's what I'm interested in at the moment yeah yeah it's uh, the, I don't know it, if everyone it's, else is it's, like, it's, like, it's basically like the, the um the destruction of the shield. Mm. It's now the destruction of the Wyatt family. Yeah. I mean, they've already lost, um, already lost Bro- uh, uh, Strowman because obviously mm-hmm. he's now on Raw. Um, Eric Rowan has disappeared into the sunset. <laughs> um, so literally, all they uh, obviously Luke Harper has turned against us. So literally, all it is now is Bray and Orton. Yep. Um, so I reckon. I reckon Bray's going to win. Okay. Uh, it'd be a dysfunctional bit on the way up to Mania. Possibly Randy could win it at Mania. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think Bray is going to go off on his own, possibly even change his character. However. Uh, oh shit, the however. <laughs> are we are we predicting this purely on what we want to see or what we think we're going to see? Because I've got an odd feeling that as much as that's what I want to see, I want to now change my prediction. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Go on, then. Um, AJ. AJ? Mm. Go on. I'll just say it's could be AJ. <laughs> You can't just say AJ and not have a reason. (laughs) It's going to be AJ, because he's got a lovely beard and I wish I could grow one like him. He has lovely long hair, which I wish I could get as a kid. And it's shiny hair, and not the kind of dirty shiny that you think that, Ah! you know. (laughs) I made it all flicker. Okay, um, so you've fallen in love with AJ's looks. And he has blue eyes, and as we all know, people with blue eyes. So, yeah, I think AJ. Is there a wrestling reason why you want AJ to win? A storyline reason why you want AJ to win? Um, Apart from uh, his charming good looks. I just, I just think, look, the way that they screw job Rumble in, a, in a way. Yeah. I just think they're gonna screw job this and make it a pointless win, right? Because AJ's had a massive title run. And he's had it. There will be something between him and Cena in this match, purely because of the match that we witnessed mm-hmm. a couple of weeks ago. And I just think, although AJ winning is pointless for the other story arcs that are going on I think that's what they're going to do because they like doing their pointless shit for main events at the moment it's winding me up yes yeah I can see what you're going with that one and he's beautiful oh for god's sake <laughs> get a fucking broom <laughs> um, right so you're going after your lover yep um, I'll find you AJ that's quite disturbing. <laughs> and I'm going to go for Bray. <laughs> I'm not into AJ. For those that are now going to frantically go, oh my god, Dan likes AJ stuff. No. If you go, if you go into Dan's room, he has a full cardboard cutter of AJ. <laughs> yeah, and I photoshopped out his pants. Ew. <laughs> anyway. is, that, is that how it looks? Like a baby's yeah. arm holding an apple. Like a <laughs> um, right, well, that's Elimination Chamber done. Um, next thing I want to talk about, uh, we've had another inductee into the Hall of Fame. And it is the Rock and Roll Express. 
Thoughts? <laughs> that, that is my thoughts. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's fine. Um, I don't argue against it. No. Nope. Not exactly massively interested. excited about it yeah. or interested, but mm. yeah, yeah, they deserve it. Yeah. So give it to them. That's yeah. fine. Exactly. And plus, we said it earlier. Kurt Angle is now going in. Yeah. Um, and that's the big one. Mm. So we did say whatever else or whoever else comes in, it's it's probably not going to be one where you go, oh yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not. It only is the first first one that gets induct, inducted is the biggest one. Yeah. Because I mean, obviously, last year the the biggest one was Sting. Last year. Um, yeah. They've had a wonderful WWE run. Of. Of. You know, all. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, but I mean, um, I did see on online um, that apparently Bobby Lashley wants to be there for Kurt Angle's inductee. Okay. Well, not his inductee, but his, his induction ceremony. Mm. Um, I don't know if it's going to actually go forward, but he he wants to be there. I don't know if Vince will allow it. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the relationship is between Vince and Lashley, but um, if there is any at all, if there is any at all, but so sorry, who are you? <laughs> you you were some big dude that I used to work for. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I reckon the in, in, induction ceremony itself is going to be good. Um, just trying to think of other ones that could possibly go in. Um, I always watch it because it's always the night before and it's yep. all very nice. Yep. Um, one day we'll be there live. We'll we'll get there live one day. We'll do a prediction vid in a hotel room. It will be lovely and uh, with lots of vlogging. It'll be a lovely time. It will. Um, I just don't have a thousand pounds, so exactly. It's uh, it, it's a lot of money to do, um, but it is definitely on our bucket list. To front row mania. So please, if you'd like to donate, if you'd like to donate to send us to, these, to mania to these two poor sods <laughs> that just want to go to one pay per view in their life, just yes. one. Just That's all one. we're asking for. We don't want to go after that. No. We just want to provide you beautiful content, and we want to fill a fulfill a dream. Yes, we do. Um, on other things, um, Dan has got some slightly exciting news. Potential, potential exciting, exciting news. news. Would you like to take it away, Dan, and let people know what you're going to be doing? So, all those people that searched for Nightwing games may potentially get some results on their searches soon. That's what I'm going to say. In That's other, what I'm going to say. In other words, Dan, is, Dan and a friend of his are actually going to be starting a YouTube channel. <laughs> yes. Um, have you decided what you're going to be doing yet? No, not quite. We It's currently in concept, so this might be a bit of time yet, guys, so mm. don't all jump on the bandwagon. But, um, yep, we, it will be a collaboration channel, um, and it will involve my own solo and her own solo videos, and then we will have a kind of collab bit on there as well. Um yeah, we're not sure. It will probably. I mean, myself, it'll probably be random games, a bit like James, and I'll be able to say whatever I want on there instead of being filled with by him every week. So, so yeah, it's it's a long way away. It's still in concept. We haven't even got a name and stuff for the channel yet, um, but we are. It, that is in the line. It, um, it, it, yeah. Um around work so it's taking a yeah, while yeah um, <laughs> but I mean uh, what else is there um, obviously um, my YouTube channel has gone fucking ballistic <laughs> I didn't realise how how quickly it would go up I mean no. uh, I, obviously uh, some, some of you might have seen my 100 subscriber video um, I've now just reached just over three and a three and a half hundred, uh, three hundred and sixty odd subscribers. I think I've hit now. It's three six seven. Three six seven. There you go. Um, I just like to say thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. I've just started a new series 
on there as well, um, which I'm going to be doing hopefully every week. Um, <coughs> doing some blind bag videos. Uh, the first video has just gone up today. Um, and I'm going to try and get some more of them done because um, after doing that first video, I quite enjoyed it. It was quite fun to do. Um, but if anyone has actually watched that video, I do apologise for the quality of the camera. It's either shit. Um, so I think next time I'll probably either use like probably the iPad or something like that to record it on. Um, this is better quality. Um, uh, I'm hopefully going to try and get some more videos up as well. Some more uh, Planet Coaster videos, hopefully. Um, if there's any videos that people would like to request, then send us a comment or something on the YouTube channel. Um, are we going to be doing a post Elimination Chamber video? Yeah. Yep, we'll do that. Um, possibly be Tuesday. Yep. Yep, I'm off. It's the usual scheduled time. <laughs> the usual scheduled time. It will be in the evening this time. Because obviously, uh, Monsieur Daniel has work in that uh, uh, that day. Well, evening Greenwich Mean Time. Yes, yes. Um, so, um, I take it you're going to be watching it on Monday. Yeah. Yes, I will yeah. watch it on Monday in prep for Tuesday. Yeah. Um, so yeah, everyone get out your world clocks on your phone and work out when we're going to be on for yeah, our friends I say, overseas. I say we're, we're, we're looking around about. Seven o'clock UK time. Yeah. 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 Um, I think that's it. I mean, uh, it's been a quite short video, but these prediction ones are normally quite short anyway. Um, anything else you want to say, Dan? No. Stay tuned. I'll keep providing updates. That's there, there you go. go. Um, I, I, I take it you'll be doing a community Facebook page as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah, we're set all that up as and when we get round to it. Um, yeah, so just stay tuned because we are we are in the process. Just a quick, just a quick thing because I'd like to say this out live because uh, I'm an arsehole. Um What did the missus say when you asked about a PC? Um, so far, <laughs> oh my god, I have to be careful because this is live. So <laughs> far, so far, it is in discussion. And uh, no, Harriet uh, loves her Sims. Um, none of you so, will know that. Someone has to, I suppose. Someone has to. Um, and funnily enough, uh, who I will be collabing with is a really good Sims uh, designer, and they design their own buildings and stuff. So there will be segments of that on the channel. Um, Harriet wants to try and do something along the same lines as well. So at the moment, there is a mutual reason to get one mm -hmm. um, so yeah it's just working out how now yeah, yeah. and then uh, and then I'll build it and then I'll probably do a video with you on it and stuff and look here's a computer and <laughs> we're, we're nearly there now yeah, yeah but yeah so it's it's going well I'm going to get one probably good lad ish, good lad. ish. <laughs> um, I mean my my PC itself uh, bless it it's uh, it it needs a few upgrades. It's a dying breed. It's a, it is a dying breed. Um, it needs a few upgrades. It's 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 got a few parts on its way. A uh, few more fans and things like that. Some cable extensions. I've got one of them already in. <laughs> um, but as you can see down the bottom there, <laughs> there, there, um. There is a target I want to hit. It's only like fifty quid or something like that for some extra parts for it. Um, if you'd like to donate, we we'll try and get that bar up. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for today. And yes. I say we will be back Tuesday around about seven o'clock UK time. Yep. Um, thank you very much, Dan. Thank you very much, James. And we shall see you soon, guys. Ta ta.